So I'm only going to go through some basic programming methods for this remote, or this video could wind up an hour long. There are some things that you might want to gather before you start programming your remote, like gathering information about your equipment, inputs, brand, all that stuff. Uh, think about what kind of activities you might want to program, like watching TV, watching DVD, those kind of things. Okay, so let's get to it. Uh, first, I'd like to program my individual devices, but if you decide that you do want to put an activity in the remote, like watching TV or DVD, you'll probably want to do this first, that way it'll wind up first on the screen, uh, since you can't move things around later once you program it. I don't know why, but they won't let you do that. I'll show you how to add an activity towards the end of the video, and I'll also include timestamps in the description. All right, so press and hold the main button. Remember, we're putting in our individual devices. Oh, by the way, these on-screen tips are just a nuisance. Push next, next, scroll down to display tips, and just get rid of those. That's my advice. All right, back up to basic setup. All right, search the database. All right, add a new device. I'm going to put my TV here in the uh, upper left corner, but like I said, if I was doing an activity, I would... Uh, put it there first. Uh, so we're working with a TV, so I'll select TV. Uh, by the way, if you're looking to uh, set up a streaming device, I have found that the Apple TV and the uh, Roku are listed under the AUX uh, category right there, just so you know. All right, so TV. Here you can select your icon. All right. I'm going to go with the first one, the default one. All right. I'm just you can rename your TV, whatever you like here. I'm just going to name it TV. Next. Okay, so we're working with an LG TV. All right, so now I know this first code here is going to work, this 0522. Um, if it didn't work, like if I wanted to test that code and nothing happened, you'll want to search for a different code, and you can do that by going up, 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 down, whatever. All right, so let's see, 522 is the first one. Okay, so when you hit test, this gives you the option to actually test the code. And like I said, you would want to go back to change the code if it didn't work. I know this code works, so I'm going to select pass. All right. All right, do I want to set up one more? Yes, I do. I want to put in my sound bar. Select yes. All right, I'll put it right here on the upper right corner. Now I'm working with an audio device, okay. Audio. Here you can select your icon. I'm just going to leave it at the default icon. I'm going to name it at the default name as audio. All right, next. All right, so mine's a Bose. It's on the fourth page. And Bose. Okay, so on this one, like I was saying with the TV, I know this first code doesn't work. So I'm going to select the second code because I already tried that one and I know that one works. So hit test. Here I can test the uh, power on, power off, and volume, and all that stuff. I know it works, so hit pass. Do I want to add more? No, I'm done, but you could. All right, exit. All right, so here I'm back on my main screen. Now I'm going to have to press each button uh, to go into the TV to work the TV, to go into the sound bar to work the sound bar. And I can easily remedy this so that I can easily control the volume and, and other things on my devices without having to fumble back and forth. I'll show you how to link your devices together for a minimal fumbling around and a little bit later. But right now I want to program in the macros. Uh, the macros are just a series of commands that you can put in to do multiple things with one or two button presses. I'm going to do a simple one. Uh, with just the on and off to show you the basic idea. Okay, so press and hold main. All right, advanced setup this time. Macros. Set up a new macro on the main menu. Press on to select it for programming. Or another way to put it would be to call, use the on button as the trigger to trigger the sequence that I want to do. Okay, so I want to trigger the on. So TV on main because I want to jump over to the audio audio on main done okay so now I have to do the same thing with the off okay as soon as this is done all right 
Here I'm going to set up another one on the main menu. This time um, for the off button. So select the off button as your trigger button. Off. All right. TV. Off. Main. And now audio, because I'm jumping to another device. Audio. Off. Okay. Done. All right. So those two should be saved. Let's go back to main. Exit. Now look, look what happens up here when I push on macro sending. All right. Notice that it clicked twice. One, two, there's two. All right. So that's all you have to do for that. Now I can turn my TV on and my audio on with just one button press and off also. You can add way more complex devices using this very same method. I'll show you another method here in just a minute that'll get a little more complicated. All right, we're getting there. So now I want my volume controls to control the sound bar no matter what device is selected. All right, so press and hold main. Advanced setup. Copy and paste. Volume group, I want the volume. Okay, you can choose either to one device, to all devices, or to the main and favorite. I'm going to choose to the main and favorite for my purposes, but most of you out there will probably want to all, uh, to all devices to be copied. So to the main and favorite, that's what I want. Now here's the device that you're going to select to copy the volume controls from, and that is the audio device, okay? So that did that. Now it copied the audio controls to the main. So when I'm on main, now the volume will work the soundbar. Okay, so one more thing that I want to program is the TV menu group. I'm doing this so I can leave the remote in the main menu and I can use the arrow keys to navigate the TV menu. My fire stick is controlled by the TV menu uh, through the HDMI CEC. All right, press and hold main, advanced, copy and paste. Now this time I want to do the menu group because remember I want the TV menu onto the main. So I'm going to choose again to the main and favorite. But most of you, if you do this, will probably want to all devices. All right, so to the main. Now I want to copy my TV menu group to the main. All right, that's saved. We'll go back out of that go back to the main. All right, that's pretty much it for my setup. But real quick, I want to show you how to add an activity like listen to audio. I've already programmed in a Pioneer audio receiver using the method I showed you earlier, just so I can show you this. Okay, remember I said towards the beginning of the video, if you want to add an activity, you'll probably want to do this first so that you, your trigger button will show up first on the display, at least on the first page, if you have enough devices to go to a second page. Okay, so first we need to set up the icon or the trigger button. All right, so press and hold main, basic setup, learn on the main menu. Now choose the position where you want the button to appear. I'm going to go here middle right, all right, right now. Select the type of device. This doesn't really matter, but just select the closest thing uh, because it's just a trigger button. But I'll select audio because that's what it's for, so audio. Uh, select your icon. I showed you that before. Uh, rename it. I'm going to call it Audio 2. All right, next. It's saving. Main. Exit. All right. Just rinse and repeat for any of your other activities. All right, now we can see our activity is here under Audio 2. But it doesn't actually do anything yet because we have to set up a sequence of macros associated with this button. So for this quick example, I'll just set it to power on and set the input for phono. Uh, by the way, if you need to jump between devices during these macros, just use the main button like I did in the on-off examples where I set up two devices. All right, press and hold main. Advanced. Uh, macros. Set up a new macro on the main menu. Now press your trigger button to set the sequence we'll be programmed to, so audio 2. Okay. Now you can start your sequence. I'll press Pioneer. Power on. 
pause, pause, next page, phono, done. All right, press main and exit to get back out of that. Now, when I press audio two, it'll power on and then set the input to phono. Notice macro sending. Notice the delay also, I'll do it again. Here, main, macro sending, hit one, there, hit again. By pressing the pause and pause, it adds a half a second delay between the commands. I did that because I wanted to wait a second before I sent it the um, phono command while it was powering up, it might not accept that. So you can pause to account for that. You can do this with multiple devices, commands, etc. This is the basic format that you'll use. Uh, so one last thing, if you run into a problem where you can't find a code that works properly, or there are functions missing, luckily this remote is a learning remote so that you can use your original remote if you still have it uh, to teach the commands that don't work. All right, so you'll wanna set these up head to head like that to teach. Press and hold main, basic setup, learn, uh, this time I'm going to select inside the device, since this is a device-specific specific problem, inside the device. I'll put a power command on my Pioneer receiver. You can choose any device you want, so I'll choose my Pioneer. All right, power on. Okay, notice it says ready, so hit the other button that you want to teach to. There it went, it's saving. All right, it's standing ready, so I can add more commands if I want. Like I'll put, I'll put the same thing on the play button here, just for example, ready, power. See that? So you can choose either a hard button or soft button, it doesn't matter. Uh, once it saves and you're done adding your commands, you can add as, uh, however many you want to, just press done, uh, main, exit. All right, that's it for that. Now if you feel that you've just messed everything up, you can reset it back to factory. Just hit main, hold and main. All right, user settings, factory reset, and then press that. I'm not gonna press it. I don't wanna delete the remote again. I uh, hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.